field goal team out here because this is a career long attempt for Tyler Durbin who's super reliable inside of 40. This is from 45 and it's blocked. Lions scoop it up. Brad Haley will score. Marcus Allen made the block. The veteran safety. Haley scooped it up, and Penn State incredibly has the lead. Cleats. And back deep, the dangerous one, Saquon Barkley. Nuremberger will send it away. Ohio State, Penn State, and we're underway from Columbus. Barkley from inside his own five. Barkley with a lead. Barkley with a burst. Barkley down the sideline. Saquon Barkley runs the opening kick. 97 yards. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. No flags. Next and 10 at the 16. Looks, fires, touchdown Buckeyes! Marcus Ball, J.T. Barrett! Well, what Penn State is going to try to do is drop the corner in coverage, but what that uh, does is allow the tight end to get down the middle of the field. There's no other safety there, and as the linebacker does not get depth, Ba is wide open, and another perfect throw from Barrett right up high for the tight end to go up and get the touchdown. So Ohio State has the lead. However, their Achilles heel will take the field. And Terrell Pryor, fumble, loose ball. Knocked free. Big loose ball, big scrum. Looks like the Lions may have bounced on it. It looked like Bowman may have gotten to the ball and recovered it. This is a great scrum because one of the defensive players knocked it further back so it could not be recovered by a Buckeye. This is your key play, perhaps. Take a big look at this, folks. Brent, it's third and one, and he tried to make too much happen. And instead of just taking the sneak for the first down, he tried to actually go to the outside and run for a first down, and Mark Rubin just popped the ball loose. It's the first time tonight the true freshman has made a true freshman mistake by instead of just taking the sneak in the first down, he tried to run it to the outside and tried to go 55 yards for a touchdown. Ohio State at the Penn State six. Barrett the snap looking to throw. Lofts to the left corner of the end zone and it is caught for an Ohio State touchdown. Coming down with that football, Michael Thomas in the left corner of the end zone as he got behind corner Trevor Williams. Michael Thomas comes up with his fifth touchdown catch of the year and it is 37 to 10 Ohio State. For Ben Buchanan, the coverage has been excellent. The longest Penn State punt return tonight's been three yards. Another rugby punt, and it is blocked and recovered for a Penn State touchdown. Mike Hall blocked it. Hackenberg hit and dropped, and the game is over, and it's Bosa. Well, this is a mismatch. Somehow Bosa got matched up on Akeel Lynch. That's a mistake up front for Penn State, and he just overpowered Lynch and drove Lynch right in to Christian Hackenberg. Good scheme by Ohio State. Bad protection by Penn State. And Ohio State gets the victory. Here comes pressure. 
Smith is hit and sacked. The ball is loose, and it's recovered by Ohio State. Tamba Hali with the hit. Scott Paxson, but they kept the tight end in to get maximum protection. The Tomba Holly comes up with a huge, huge sack. High, got level, but Miller kept it. Miller dances. Touchdown. What a play. Touchdown. Gain of one on the play, and that will bring up the fourth and long. I see a defense. 30 seconds left. What a great moment, Steve. What a great moment this has to be for Joe Paterno. A man once said, a great man is one who reminds one of many, a man's best qualities. But the man himself is too involved to acknowledge his own greatness. I think that bespeaks Joe Paterno and what he has done here for Penn State. He Joe is the Paterno. He has done it, loved and respected by millions, surrounded now by hundreds. He now stands alone as the winningest coach in major college football history. Congratulations, Joe. You know, Steve, the great philosopher.